Okay, let's look at one last case of a Thevenin equivalent circuit. And in this particular example, uh, we'll cover the last type that we haven't seen yet, which is a network that has only dependent sources. So when you have that situation, you have a slightly different procedure that you follow. Okay, um, there is no voltage or current source in the Thevenin equivalent. There'll only be uh, a resistance. Okay, and to solve it, you can't solve these uh, circuits that have only one that only have dependent sources the way that they are. So you either apply a current source across the terminals and then solve for the voltage, or apply a voltage and apply and uh, solve for the current. Okay, and then remember that you can once you so you pick a basic value for the voltage like one volt. Um, and then that is the V, and then once you solve for I, you can then solve for R Thevenin. Okay, so let's look at that, how that works. Um, so what I've done is I've chosen to put in a current source, and um, so I need to know what VAB is. So I can use any of the methods that I've um, encountered so far, and I think what I'm going to do is use... Um, nodal analysis. So what I'll do is I'll um, select a ground node and then I'll label all of the node voltages. We'll just call this one VX for simplicity. This can be V1 and this could be V2 or you could call it VAB I guess, right? Because once we've solved the voltage at V1 well, that's the same as the voltage across the terminals. Okay, um, so now let's start with nodal analysis. And I'll start by doing KCL at node 1. Okay, I don't think that we really need to do the node at VX, because um, you'll see there's a better way to do that. Okay, so... Uh, I guess I forgot when we're doing nodal analysis here we want to label all of our currents so I'm going to label mine just like that okay and we'll say that um, going in is positive okay so we'll start over here this is going to be V2 minus V1 over 2k and this is going in this is plus um, and that's Vx over 1k and then finally going out is V1 at a higher potential than Vx so V1 minus Vx over 1k all of that is equal to 0 and when you simplify that um, you're gonna get 4VX uh, minus 3V1 plus V2 equals 0. Okay, uh, let's do KCL at uh, V2 now. And we have one, we'll say that um, going in is positive, so one milliamp. And everything else is going out of the node. So that's going to be minus V2 minus V1 over 2K and minus V2 over 1K. And now I can simplify that and put it in the same order as this equation here. And I get minus 3V2 plus V1. Oops, that's not right. So plus V1 minus 3V2 equals negative 2. Um, okay, so I have 
from those nodal equations I have two equations and two unknowns. Now I could uh, do nodal analysis here on VX. I could look at the current going through this thing here, but probably the easiest way to approach solving for VX is to recognize that it's really just a voltage division, right? I know the voltage across both of the resistors, and so I could use voltage division to solve for that. So let's do that. Um, voltage division. We'll say that VX equals V1 times 1K over 1K plus 1K or 2K. Okay, the K's cancel and we get Vx is equal to one-half of V1. Okay, so now what we can do is plug this into this equation here and when we do that we'll then end up with a system of two equations with two unknowns. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we'll say we're going to plug uh, voltage division solution into this equation. So that's 4 times 1 half V1 minus 3 V1 plus V2 equals 0. Okay, so then we get what? 2 V1 uh, minus 3 V1, so we get minus V1 is equal to minus V2. And so you can see then that V1 is equal to V2. Um, so now uh, we don't really even have to do a system of equations here. We can just plug into either one of these and solve for, um, solve for both V1 and V2. So let's plug into this one and we'll just plug in V2. So V1 equals V2. So we get V2, let me, uh, I'll use the same color here. Uh, we're going to get V2 minus 3V2 equals minus 2, or minus 2V2 equals minus 2, or V2 equals 1. So we now have V2, and remember that V2 is equal to VAB, same thing. So now we've solved for the voltage, and we have the current, which we uh, chose. So we get R Thevenin is equal to V over I, which is equal to 1 volt over 1 um, milliamp, okay, and that will uh, then equal 1,000 or 1k ohms. Okay, so our Thevenin equivalent then looks something like this. Okay, and that's how you solve problems like that. There's a little bit more arithmetic because you almost can't avoid having to do um, either a mesh equation or some nodal equations, but in the end, the Thevenin equivalent is extremely simple to solve. Okay?